This will be just a quick initial test of the Rode MTG4 Plus shotgun mic. Now this will just be an initial test. I will do a full review in the coming weeks here. I need to get a little bit more experience with it, but it took a while for me to get this and I was away at the National Association of Broadcasters show in Las Vegas. So this is again, just a quick test and we're gonna compare it here to the Rode NTG2, not because they're necessarily in the same league, but because that's been my, pretty much my workhorse mic for the last several years. And now we're testing out the NTG4 Plus. The Rode NTG4 Plus is a shotgun microphone. It runs $400 US presently. That may change over time. It also has a companion, the Rode NTG4. The difference between the two is that the 4 Plus has a built-in lithium-ion battery that will power it, Rode says, for 150 hours. So you don't need any phantom power in that case. The mic can power itself. The, the main thing that I've noticed in the initial tests is that the Rode NTG4 Plus relative to the NTG2 sounds more natural. Uh, and what I mean by that is there doesn't tend to be as much of the low frequency kind of boost, kind of a radio announcer sound that you get on the NTG2 a little bit more. Um, so at first I think some people really like that sound and, and, I, and I confess there are times when I like that sound as well in certain circumstances. However, when you're doing perhaps a narrative type film, you may want more of a natural sound. And you can always add a little bit of low frequency if you need to in post, but I like to start off kind of from a more neutral position. So, so far, I'm quite pleased with what I hear. We'll be back with a more detailed look at it and a full review in the next few weeks. Thanks for checking out this episode. Mm -hmm.